Hey everyone, this is Wade from FishFinderMounts.com and Flow2 Fanatics, and I'm here just going to show you um, the Garmin 4DV on our non-powered non um, Flow2 mount here. It gives you everything you need to mount your fish finder on your Flow2 here. And this plate here will swivel this around to wherever you need it. Of course, the fish finder, this Garmin, has its own swiveling feature as well. And the battery, in this case, in this example, with when you have non-powered non mount from us, you're going to need to provide your own battery. And you would stick it maybe, perhaps, if you have a flow tube in your flow tube pocket. From The battery here is from fishfindermounts.com. And we're the only ones in the world that actually make these portable fish finder mounting solutions for your flow tube. You can put any fish finder on your flow tube. Like with this kit here, you can put any size of battery you want on your flow tube, wherever you'd like it to be. And then just hook your fish finder up to that power. Um, your transducer mount here, this is universal. You can put anybody's transducer on that. You can see here is a Garmin Striker uh, transducer here, nicely on transducer mount and you can just kick this up out of the water lock it into place so that it stays out of harm's way when you're launching or beaching your flow tube and um, you're maybe going through weeds and you just want to keep it weed free just kick it up out of the water and there you go this is actually backwards by the way and shame on me I've done this backwards before but you're going backwards you're kicking backwards in a flow tube if you don't know that yourself if you don't have a flow tube and you're thinking about getting into it this should actually be I'm, gonna, I'm using one hand because of the video here this way like this that's the way it should be the thumb nut back on like so everything's hand hand tightenable just twist everything on with your hand there you go that's the right way now that's the way it should look 